So in this video, I thought it might be interesting to give you a tour of my home voiceover studio, which is located right behind me inside of my walk-in closet. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Why, hello, welcome to my home studio tour. Please come in to my closet. Now, because this is a functioning closet, we have all of this clothing and camping gear up here, which actually does double duty. It serves as additional sound absorption and acoustic treatment. But I've treated the corners with this heavy duty foam, these corner shapes, in addition to the more traditional sort of egg crate acoustic foam. And back here, what looks like a flat wall is actually an old mattress topper that we repurposed and bolted to this wall. So it has a lot of cushion behind that fabric there. So it's a nice little setup. It's very, very comfortable to work in here, very cozy, but also roomy enough. The other thing about this particular closet is that it has relatively high ceilings and they are popcorn ceilings, which might not be popular in interior design and may be considered kind of outdated, but they're actually beneficial acoustically because it helps to disperse the sound. So I'm not sad about that. Uh, we also have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in this apartment and that helps as well. So let's start with the computer. The computer that I use is a Mac Mini and it's a very, very quiet computer. I can't hear anything. Most newer computers are, but I know the computer I was using before, I could hear the fan, it was quite noisy. So in that kind of situation, if you have a noisier computer, you need to have it outside of the room, outside of the booth. And you can always have a cable connected to a monitor inside. Uh, as well as a wireless keyboard and mouse. The recording software that I use is Twisted Wave and it gives you a nice long continuous single track waveform. Now I sometimes hear concerns from newer voiceover talents that the quality of their sound is going to be affected by the kind of recording software that they're using. And that is simply not the case. So if you're under a tight budget and you're just getting your own home studio up and running, you could totally download a free software. Audacity is free and I used that for the first two years when I started my own voiceover business. And it's perfectly, uh, it's a perfectly good recording program and it does not affect the actual sound quality. Your microphone and your acoustic treatment and environment has way more of an impact on that sound. Sometimes people think they can get a great mic and that's gonna make them sound good. And the fact is, if you don't have the room properly treated, that microphone is not gonna sound good at all. So your environment is a huge, huge part of this. So now let's talk about the mic. So I am using a Neumann TLM 103. This is kind of an industry standard. It's a very, very good high quality mic. It is a condenser microphone. And so in order to use it, I need a preamp. And the preamp that I'm using is an Audient ID22 preamp interface. And let me see if I can explain in layman's terms what a preamp interface does. So the interface is taking the analog signal from this microphone and converting it into a digital signal so that the computer can understand it. The preamp part is boosting that signal so that it can be recorded and you can control the volume. The other thing that I have, which enables me to do remote recording sessions with clients around the country and around the world is Source Connect. And at this moment in time, a lot of conversation has been happening about Source Connect. A lot of voiceover talents are scrambling to get it. And what Source Connect does is it enables you to remotely connect with clients, you know, across the country. So in layman's terms, I would be speaking into my microphone and my audio in real time through Source Connect would be going through the internet and into their recording software. So they would be getting that waveform, they would be getting those audio files in real time. I can also be recording as a backup, but I don't necessarily need to be. So that's why Source Connect is so important right now and why so many people are talking about it and trying to get set up with it. And if you wanna learn more about that, you can go to source-elements.com or there's a great video by George the Tech YouTube channel uh, where he talks all about that and the importance of it. And he gets way more into the technical aspect of it. Headphones. So the headphones that I'm using are the AKG K240 Studio headphones. 
And the reason I like these is because you'll notice they have this piece of leather over the top and then the stiffer part actually doesn't make contact with your head. And this is key. Comfort is so important when you're working in a studio all day and you have these on all day. Um, other headphones would start to make my jaw ache and really just hurt my ears and the top of my head. So these are very, very comfortable headphones that I can wear all day. Here you'll notice my pop filter. So your pop filter takes care of your plosives, right? It prevents your peas from being too poppy. So it helps to minimize that. So I have my microphone attached to an arm which clips onto the side of my desk. And I really like this setup because it allows me to use my keyboard and my mouse without the mic stand getting in the way and just kind of push it out of the way if I'm doing something else like video editing. The desk that I'm using is a standing desk that I got from Ikea for around $200. And what's nice about this is after I'm done recording, sometimes I want to sit down to edit and this allows me to do that. So I'll just lower this so that I can sit down and that just makes it super convenient. A couple of other things is you'll notice I have two monitors. So this is perfect because I can have my waveform on one and then I can have whatever script, whatever project I'm recording on the other one. And I read my scripts right off of that monitor so I don't have to worry about printing out every single project or script that I'm reading. And at this point in the video, I am going to do a microphone test because up until this point, everything that we're recording here is the camera mic, but I want you to be able to hear the difference between the camera mic and my TLM 103 with the doors shut so that you can really get a sense of the sound difference. So we'll move on to that. And I'm gonna switch over to my mic audio now. I'm gonna do this as like a really smiley kind of like, I don't know, like grocery commercial or something. So, Betty Botter had some butter, but she said, this butter's bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter, but a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter, and she baked it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So it was better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. All right, so um, hopefully you can hear a difference. You will probably have to use headphones in order to actually hear a difference. If you're listening on your phone or television, I don't know that it will be that apparent. But let me know what you think in the comments, and I will switch back over to my camera mic right now. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more content. And I would love to know if you have any questions about my setup, about any of the equipment, go ahead and put them in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Dork. <laughs>